Introducing the principals. First, in the blue corner, wearing the white trunks with the red trim. Pete Tipton at an even 221 pounds. This gentleman has eight wins, eight losses, one draw. A native of Rio Piedra, Puerto Rico. And now residing in Holyoke, Massachusetts. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Juan Quintana. Quintana. And his opponent in the red corner. He too is wearing the white trunks with the red trim. He weighed in at 222 and one quarter pounds. This young man has 17 wins, only one loss. He is ranked number eight by the World Boxing Council. A native of Jamaica, and now residing in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Boxing fans, here is Donovan, Razor Ruddock. Ruddock. Okay, All right, referee Rudy Battle with the okay, instructions. The instructions. I expect a clean break at all times. Watch your low blows and watch the holding and hitting. Any questions in here? All right, I want a clean contest. Good luck to both of you. Let's shake hands. All right, we're ready now with the co-feature attraction of the evening. Donovan Razor Radock, the ranking WBC contender, I believe ranked number eight against Juan Quintana. And back with me now, the champ, Larry Holmes. Larry, your brother did a beautiful display of boxing and punching. He did, but he's got to get a little bit more power behind it. This is something here, see right here. These guys here, they punch. Both of them real, real strong punches. Good. Razor Rudder got that good left jab, and uh, uh, it's going to be a good fight, Mike. All right. Again, don't leave those seats because anything could happen. We've got the big guys with certainly punching power at Donovan Razor Ruddock. The number eight ranking WBC heavyweight contender has been in there with some of the best and working his way up the ladder. And he told me a little earlier he would like to get a title shot sometime uh, within the year. I'd just like to take a moment to uh, mention, Larry, uh, two of the underwriters for tonight's card, W.J. Pasovic and Son. General Contractors, and Valley Federal Savings. They're helping us out, Mike. This is what we need is a lot more sponsors like this so we can continue to grow in this fight game. Is that where you have all your money at the Valley Federal Savings? I don't have any money, Mike. Who's in charge there that I can go see for a loan? Well, any one of the loan managers. Oh, okay. Like. All, right. all right. Donovan Razor Ruddock popping with that left jab. And it is a brilliant left jab. Juan is not going to be an easy guy to take out. He's going to be kind of easy, look like to hit with that jab. But I tell you, he's not looking like he's the guy that you're just going to take out with one punch, Mike. Razor Ruddock last August beat uh, former champion Mike Weaver. And, of course, fought Juan Carlos Hernandez on the undercard of the Michael Spinks, Jerry Cooney, War at the Shore was victorious there in seven rounds. And he's hoping that uh, a title shot will be forthcoming. Quintana, a very rough, tough customer. We said that at the start. He's strong, and yeah, he's coming here to fight. He told me he's, he's not going to give this guy any... Uh, any room, and uh, he's worked with Sugar De Leon, the former, I mean, the champion in the cruiserweight division, and uh, I tell you, so. But Razor Ruddock hit punch. He's got that power. A left hook, and down goes Quintana. Down goes Quintana. He caught him with that left hook. It was a left uppercut, Mike, and it went down. It was a very strange, yeah. it, was, it, it started. It was a delay a action. It came up, and... Yeah. Uh, a delayed action punch, but Ruddock can punch. Now will Ruddock be able to finish him off? Razor certainly taking his time and not going wild trying to pick his shots, but did he do enough? Saved by the bell. Razor Ruddock on the left of your screen on the right now on the left is Juan Quintana Quintana down in round number one due to a 
Left uppercut like you just saw. And Razor Ruddock really showing us that left uppercut. And you know, he's got a tremendous left he's, uppercut. He's hurt, Mike. I don't think he's going to get up. He got hit pretty good. If he does, yeah. I doubt that Rudy Battle will let this continue. R uh, re referee Rudy Battle calling it. He's wisely calling this fight off. He's wisely. He was really hurt by that left upper. Right now on the left is Juan Quintana. Quintana down in round number one due to a left uppercut like you just saw. And Razor Ruddock really showing us that left uppercut. And you know, he's got a tremendous left he's, uppercut. He's hurt, Mike. I don't think he's going to get up. He got hit pretty good. If he yeah. does, I doubt that Rudy Battle will let this continue. R uh, re referee Rudy Battle calling it. He's wisely calling this fight off. He's wisely. He was really hurt by that left uppercut. And, you know, we talked a little earlier about possibly uh, down the road, Razor Ruddock fighting Mike Tyson. Tyson being susceptible to that left uppercut. Razor Ruddock having a great one. That would be a very interesting fight. Yeah, Razor Ruddock got a good left jab. He got a good uppercut. But see, what he's got to do, he's got to use the jab. And then you throw that uppercut on the Mike Tyson. So Mike throws that right hand, that overhand right. And Razor, as we noticed in the last fight that he fought with Evans, he was getting hit with that overhand right. So uh, I think he got to go back to school still and work his way in that position. But he's fighting very well, a smart fight. And uh, I think he's going to be something to reckon with in the very near future. Right now, let's go up and get the time of that technical knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Rudy Battle stops this bout at 51 seconds of the second round, and the winner by a TKO, Donovan Razor Ruddock. Ruddock. And have a nice round of applause for Juan Quintana. Let's hear it, boys. And white for all in the light chunks, forming in the dark. Forming